So uh, this is a very rare thing indeed. This is a first edition in Dust Jacket of Graham Greene's 1939 novel, The Confidential Agent. Um, let me just show you. It's um, a book published by William Heinemann um, as I say, in London, as were really all of Greene's pre-war uh, masterpieces of Brighton Rock, um, Stamble Train, uh, Confidential Agent, of course, England Made Me. Um, and they're all uncommon in Dust Check It. Um, there are reprints of this, I think it went to two or three impressions, and they will tell you when they are. Um, this one has first published in 1939. We know it's right. Um, the book itself is, as you would expect, absolutely beautiful. It's an extraordinary copy. But that really isn't what makes this special. What makes this special is the fact that this late 1930s dust check, in common with so many others, they were discarded at point of sale. People didn't keep them. They are notoriously uncommon. And this one, pretty much everything you could design in a dust jacket to go wrong with it is that it has a tremendously sensitive and fugitive pink. I've, I've, I've had maybe three or four copies of this in, in the last 25 years, and none of them have been quite as vibrant. What's interesting, all of them have had this little, some aspect of this chafing, which is the only real fault with the book. Um, the panels of the jacket are splendid too. Um, why it should be that these Green's books particularly um, are so uncommon in Dust Jacket. Um, I think most of them, they weren't produced in huge numbers, actually. Um, not tens of thousands by any means. I think they're very readable books. They're books that got read a lot by people who read them in a casual way. He described them as entertainments, after all, and not sort of great works of fiction, not outy works that you'd read in an armchair, but stuff you would carry around. There's lots of reasons why this and uh, some of the other titles that I've mentioned are really very uncommon indeed. And you'll find more information about that and, and many of his other works on the Peter Harrington website.